Hello dear friends, welcome to ACAD Designing. This is the SolidWorks 3D Modeling, exercise number 8. We make this 3D model, with the help of this diagram, in minimum and simple steps. Let's start. Launch your SolidWorks software. Click on New. Select a part. And then OK. We will make a 3D model help of this diagram. You can check the link of this diagram in the description, for your practice. First, we analyze the diagram and decide the steps. At the start, we select the front plane for the sketch and draw this profile like L shape. Then extrude it up to 62 millimeters. Next, we make a sketch for the rib part. Then we mirror the rib part for the second rib. And finally cut out these two profiles to complete the 3D model. Let's start modeling. Select the front plane and click on the sketch. Select the line tool from the sketch tab. We start the sketching from the origin point. The select origin point for the first point of the line. Then draw straight horizontally to the left side and put the value 16 millimeters. Next, draw straight vertically to the upside and put the value 6 mm. Continue to draw straight horizontally to the left side and put the value 18 mm. Next, draw straight vertically to the downside and put the value 6 mm. Then draw straight horizontally to the left side and put the value 16 mm. Next, draw straight vertically to the upside and put the value 42 mm. Continue to draw straight horizontally to the right side and put the value 20 mm. Now, we no idea about the dimension, so we draw approximately straight vertically line. Then, for the straight horizontal line, we get a tracking reference from the origin and select the next point. Next, join the origin point to complete the sketch escape the command. Now, we need to fix one dimension here. 16 millimeters. Select the smart dimension tool from the sketch tab. And select this vertical line. Place the dimension and put the value 16 millimeters. Now, our sketch is completed. Go to the feature tab and select the extruded boss base tool. In this case, we have to extrude the sketch both sides of the plane. Just drop down the extrude options and select the mid-plane option. 62 mm extrude value mention in the diagram. Put the 62 mm value and see the preview. Click on mark OK. Next, we make this rib. Just select this face and click on the sketch. Go to the sketch tab and select the line tool. Select this corner point for the first point of the line. And select this corner point for second point of the line. Escape the command. Go to the feature tab and select the rib tool. The rib tool automatically detects our sketch. Check this arrow direction. Now notice here, the rib built both sides of the line. We can manage rib built sides from here. Just click on this icon for the built rib right side. This for the left side. This for both sides. We have the right side built option for the rib. Put the value 9mm. Click on mark OK. See this rib. Now next we have to mirror this rib for this side. Select the step of the rib from the design tree. And select the mirror tool from the feature tab. Now we need one axis here to the mirror. Select mirror face plane option. 
expand the part history and select a suitable plane to mirror. Like the front plane. Select the front plane and see the preview in yellow wireframe. This is the mirror axis and this is the mirror preview of the object. Just click on mark OK and end the command. Now we have to cut out this profile. Just select this face and click on the sketch. Press Ctrl key plus 8 to make a normal sketch plane. Take the line tool and select the first point on this edge of the line here. For the next point, we get a tracking reference from the origin point and select the point approximately here. And the next point here. Escape the command. Select the Smart Dimension tool from the Sketch tab. Select this end point and this edge and place the dimension. Put the value 9mm and click on the mark OK. Now select this origin point and this end point and place the dimension. Put the value 9mm half of the total dimension 18mm. Press Enter. Similarly, select this origin point and this end point and place the dimension. Put the value 9mm and press Enter. Now, select this edge and select this point. Place the dimension. Make sure this dimension will be 22 millimeters. Our profile is completed. Rotate the object to get an idea of 3D features. Like this. Go to the Feature tab and select an extruded cut tool. You can manage cut extrude range by dragging this arrow. From here, we select through all option. See the preview and click on mark OK. Our sketch is a cutout from this solid object. Go for the next step. Just select this face and click on the sketch. Press Ctrl key plus 8 to make a normal sketch plane. Take the line tool and select the first point on this edge of the line here. For the next point, we get a tracking reference from this midpoint and select the point approximately here. And the next point here. Escape the command. Select the Smart Dimension tool from the Sketch tab. Select these two endpoints and place dimension. Put the value 30 millimeters and click on the mark OK. Next, select this point and this edge and place dimension. Put the value 16 millimeters and press enter. Similarly, select this point and this edge and place dimension. This dimension will be 16 millimeters. Here is the notification bring up. This is the fixed dimension as per our sketch. That means we cannot change this value. Just click on OK. Now next, select this corner point and this edge and place the dimension. Put the dimension 22 mm and press Enter. Select this point and this edge and place the dimension. This dimension will be 15 mm. Also, this dimension is a fixed dimension. So we cannot change this value. Due to the angle of these lines and all dimensions, this dimension would have become 15 mm. Just rotate the object. Go to the Feature tab and select an extruded cut tool. Once we select through all option from here. See the preview and click on mark OK. And here our sketch is a cutout from this solid object. Now, this 3D modeling is completed. Let me choose some material for this object. Go to appearance. Drop down the appearance. And select metal. Select aluminum material, and I choose cast aluminum material. Just drag it on the object and select the body option. Now, here we applied material on this 3D object. You can choose any other material as you like or as per your requirement. I hope all the steps you have understood. If you do not understand any of the steps, then comment to me. As soon as possible I will answer you. 
If you like this video then hit the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next exercise tutorial. Have a nice day.